Hi guys, today I'm going to discuss about how to remove duplicate elements from an array. So I have to enter the array size, I have given 7. So enter the array elements, so this elements I enter 78, 7, 6 or 7, 7, 6, 5. So I have to 7 is uh, or 3 times and here 6 is 2 times and or 78 and 5 one more times. So right here, this is original arrays. So right here, 7 or 2 times here and one more times. So total 3 times. 6 is or 2 times and 5 one time, 78 one time. So right here, the output comes 78, 7, 6, 5. So after removing duplicate elements, so this is the output gate. So 78765. So here I enter the array size so I have given 7. So I enter total elements 7. So if you want to enter 10 elements into the array, so you have to give the size at your 10. After that, you can enter 10 elements. And if any duplicate elements found in the array, so we have to remove. So let's do the coding to remove the uh, duplicate elements from the array. Next I am going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that coincide. So I have taken uh, four integer variable. First is n. Here after i or j and next x. So add here next control comes to this point. So add here I have taken integer array type variable. So I've given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. So next is a double r variable. 
So the hereafter control comes to this point a scanner class sc new scanner system.in. So next I created sc object of a scanner class by using new keyword system scanner class next system.in. Now control comes to this point. So I tell system class dot art dot print and then method. So what are we double code that is print to the output screen. So enter the array size so that is print to the output screen. Here after n equal to sc dot next int. So whatever a string value that comes so that convert into integer by using by calling sc object dot so dot operator call or next in method. So that is to integer value into n. So n value I am going to enter 5. So here after control comes to this point system class dot or dot print and method. So this or display into the output screen print and method. So here after control comes to this point for loop i value start from 0. And now check the condition 0 less than n value 5 condition is to that coincide. So at a 8 over r 0 position sc dot next int. So whatever string value that convert into integer and that is store into 8 over r 0 position. So this is 8 over r. So at your 0 position I am going to enter 7. Now next that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 1 position and meet. So I am going to enter 5. So this is a 0 index. This is 1. Here after i increase i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 2 position new element. So at here. 2 position this point I am going to enter 7. Now here after I increase so I is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 3 position new element. So this is the 3 index. So right here I am going to enter 7 again. And next I gonna increase so I is 4 now. Check the condition for less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 4 person new element. So at here I enter 5. So here after I increase, so I is 5 now. Check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So at here system class dot r dot printer method. So this or display into the output screen original array. So here control comes to this point. So at here I will start from 0. So the condition 0 less than n value 5 condition is to that coincide. So I have system class dot r dot print error method. So that display 8 over 0 position element. So 7 display. Here after i increase i is 1 now. So the condition 1 less than 5 condition is to so that coincide. So this time that display 8 over on 1 position element. 5 display. Here after i increase so i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So that display 8 over or 2 percent element or 7 display. Here after i increase so i is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. That display 8 over 3 percent element. So here 7 display. Here after i increase so i is 4 now. Check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 4 percent element. So that display 8 over 4 percent element. So 5 display. Here after i increase so i is 5 now. Check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So i value is 0 now. 0 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So I tell uh, for j equal to i plus 1. So 0 plus 1 the value come 1. And here after check the condition 1 less than n value 5 condition is to that coincide. So I tell check if 8 over r 8, 8 over r i double equal to 8 over r j. So i value is 0 now. J value is 1. So 7, uh, 0 position is 7 and 8 over rj. So 1 position 5, 7 double equal to 5. Condition is not true. So that not go to if part. So this is if part here. So that go here. So if condition is not true, so that go to else here. That increase the value of or j. So j increase. Now here after or that go up. so here there is no any or uh, increment so here check the condition j value is 2 now n value 5 2 less than 5 condition is 2 so i tell 8 over r i value is 0 so 0 percent double equal to 8 over 2 so 7 double equal to 7 condition is 2 that coincide 
So I have x, j value go to x. So j value is 2, 2 go to x. Here after 2 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincide. So I have 8 over r x plus 1. So 8 over 2 plus 1, 3. So 8 over 3 position value go to 8 over r 2. So 8 over r or 3 position is 7. So 7 go to 8 over r 2. And here after that loop continues, so x is increased now, x is 3. So right here, 7 come. So x is 3 now, check the condition, 3 less than 5, condition is 2. So right here, 8 over r, 3. So right here, 8 over 3 plus 1, 4. So 4 percent value go to 8 over r, 3. So 4 position is 5, so 5 go to 8 over r, 3. So right here, 5 come. So new array elements are So this is a 0 index So right here, 7 Here, 5 And here, 7 And next, 5 come So this 7 move to here And this 5 move to here And uh, this is 1, 2 or 3 and uh, I've given this array size is 55 so rest this all place that is to double character till 54 and here after x gonna increase so x is now 4 check the condition 4 less than n value 5 condition is to that coincides right here 8 of our 4 plus 1 so 5 percent value go to 8 over 4 so this is a 4, so null character come. Now here after x is 5, check the condition, 5 less than 5, condition is not to not coincide. So here that, uh, that out from for loop and next that in decrease the value of n. So n is now 4. Now here after, if condition is true, so that not go to as part. So here after that curve, go up and here there is no any increment decrease so add your check the condition uh, j less than 5 so j value is now 2 and n value 4 so 2 less than 4 condition is to that coincide so add your 8 over r so add your 8 over r 8 over r i value is 0 so 8 over 0 position double equal to 8 over r j value is 2 so 0 position is uh, 7 and 2 position is 7 7 equal to 7 condition is 2 so that coincide so here, j value go to x. So j value is 2 now, 2 go to x. And here, check the condition, 2 less than n value 5. Sorry, n value is 4. 2 less than 4 condition is 2. So at 8 over r, 3 position value go to 8 over r, 2. So 3 position is 5. 5 move to this point. And here after x increase, so x is 3 now. Check the condition, 3 less than 4, condition is 2. So I take 8 over 3 plus 1. So 4 position value move to there. So this point, null character come. And here after x increase, so x is 4 now. n value 4, 4 less than 4, condition is not 2, not coincide. Here after that decrease the value of n. So n is now 3. And here after if condition is 2, so that not go to else point here, that go. So at here check the condition j less than n. So j value is 2 now. And here n value is a 3. So 2 less than 3 condition is 2. So that coincides. So at here uh, 8 over r i value is 0. Double equal to j value is 2. So 0 position is. Uh, so at here new array elements are. So here 7, 5, so this 5 move to 2 position. So this is 5, here 5, and this point 7.
So this is a zero index. This is one, two, three. So right here, check the condition, a dot or zero position value, double equal to a dot or j value is true. So zero position is so seven and two position five, seven double equal to five, condition is not true. So that not go to inside here, that go to as part, so that increase the value of j. So j is three now. Now here after that go up and check the condition, j value is three and n value three. So three less than three, condition is not true, so that not go inside. So here after that out from inner for loop and here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i is now one. Check the condition one less than n value three. Condition is to that coincide. So I to j equal to i plus one. So one plus one, the value come two. So j is two now. And here check the condition two less than n value three. Condition is two. So I to a dot or i. So a dot one person double equal to a dot or two. So one person is five, two person is five, five double equal to five, condition is true, so that coincides right here, j value go to x. So two go to x, here after two less than n value three, condition is true. So right here, a dot r, two plus one, x value is two, two plus one, three. So three person value go to a dot r, x value is two. So three person is value go to here. So null character comes to this point. And uh, here after that increase the value of x. So x is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than n value, also 3. 3 less than 3. That condition is not true. So that not coincide here after n decrease. So n is 2 now. And uh, n is decrease. So if condition is true, so that got not go to else part. So here after that go up and here check the condition 0 less than n. So j value is now 2 and n value just to decrease. So j, n value also 2. So 2 less than 2, condition is not to not coincide. Here after that curve, increase the value of i. So add your i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than n value also 2. So 2 less than 2, condition is not to So that not coincide. So here after that, out from upper for loop, now control comes to this point. So add your new array elements are. So at here, this is the zero index here, one and here, two, three. So zero index seven come and next five and here after null character move to two index. And here, so I have given the array size is 55, so till 54 that is stored null character. Now here after control comes to this point, for i value start from 0. Or check the condition 0 less than n value. Or 2 at here. So 0 less than 2 condition is to that coincide. So at here system dot auto print. So at here that display it was 0 position element. So 7 display. Now here after i increase, i is 1 now, check the condition 1 less than n value 2, condition is 2, that coincides, so at here that display it over on 1 person I mean. So at here, 7 dis uh, 5 display, here after that increase the value of i, so i is 2 now, check the condition 2 less than n value also 2, 2 less than 2, condition is 2, that co not coincide. So this is the output gate, uh, 7, 5. So at here, 7, 5 is the unique elements in the array. So duplicate elements remove. So we get seven and five. So add here seven is three times five is three times. So you can enter n value any number like uh, this time I enter five. So you can enter n value seven eight whatever. So if you enter n value seven, so you have to enter seven elements. So you are just trying to enter any duplicate elements in the array and unique elements in the array and do the same trial method so definitely you will get the expected output.
So this is the dry end method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.